Hey everyone, Plant Gang, one of my absolute favorite spring ephemerals that comes out of nowhere to surprise everybody in the garden. This is Mertensia virginica, the Virginia bluebell, a native uh, plant to the, no uh, to the southeastern United States in particular. It's got a pretty big range though. Uh, I love how it just emerges with this soft, delicate foliage. Uh, the flowers, when they're closed, uh, they're pink and they look like a deflated pink balloon, like a balloon that you've blown up once and then you've deflated it and that's exactly what it looks like. Then opening up to these brilliant blue, maybe you would say soft blue flowers, uh, really complementing the foliage. Spring ephemeral, here today, gone tomorrow, but definitely worth paying attention to while it's in the garden. Now this plant is a little bit hard to propagate and to grow uh, in a nursery setting. And so one thing I do recommend is buying bare root plants uh, that you can add to your, your garden. Uh, once you get it established in your garden, it does self-seed around, which is quite nice. Uh, but a beautiful plant, uh, one in a shady situation, you should look at adding to your landscape. Uh, I love it. You should get to know it. Uh, you should know it when you see it. So uh, Virginia bluebells, Mertensia, this is one that you want to plant in the woodland garden in partial shade. It is a perennial. It does self-seed itself, gets up about two foot tall. Uh, it's bloom time. Here I would call this in full bloom. It's March 25th in Knoxville, Tennessee. A little bit colder zones. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a little ways until this blooms. Uh, there's probably some other places a little bit so further south from us uh, that this has kind of already done its thing. Hardy from zones three through eight, uh, you get this nice uh, pink deflated balloon opening up to this soft blue flower. Uh, quite nice. Uh, one you want to plant in the woodland garden. I can't say enough about the Virginia bluebell, uh, one that you should be able to identify. Uh, now take a look at the leaves. They uh, have an oval shape. Uh, they're very delicate. Uh, oblong uh, leaf shape, uh, darker uh, stems and petioles uh, towards the ends on the flowers, uh, but this will completely die back down to the ground and so you can plant other perennials around it that can kind of take its place and I do recommend that you do that. Here's a landscape tip. Bluebells enjoy rich, well-drained soils where they can form large colonies over time. 